to show you how you can do machine embroidery onto corrugated cardboard. This is free motion embroidery, so I haven't got my dog feed up on the machine. I've got that lowered and I have got a darning foot or an embroidery foot. You can have either. On this particular sample, I'm using a self-coloured thread because I'm going to paint this sample afterwards. So I'm really looking to create texture on the cardboard rather than embellish it with stitching that's going to show up. You don't need to worry about the stitch length when you're doing free machine embroidery because that's no longer relevant because you're going to be moving the cardboard and creating the stitch length. Um, I've got my tension set to a standard tension and I've got a thick heavy needle, a hundred in my machine so that it will punch through the cardboard easily. If you use a smaller needle than this, it's likely to break because the corrugated cardboard is quite tough. This piece of cardboard was a piece of packaging from a box and I have ripped back the top layer of paper to reveal the corrugated layers here. I'm, I'm doing two different stitches here. So on the corrugated stripes, I'm doing just a straight stitch. And on the center part here, I have done an all over random texture. The lovely thing about working on paper is that you don't have to worry about putting it in an embroidery hoop as you do when working on fabric because it's already rigid. So I'm just going to start now and I'm going to go slowly at first until I get my rhythm and then I'm just going to move the cardboard forwards and backwards whilst I'm doing the sewing. As you can see, once you get a nice steady rhythm, you've then got your momentum and you can just work forwards and backwards and gradually fill in these areas. You'll notice that I am leaving these ridges of the cardboard where the fold is unstitched because I want to leave that texture showing. If I was to stitch over everything, the corrugated part of the cardboard would slightly disappear. And as I where I, you can see, I've done it here and that fold has has really got stitched in and has, has become part of the texture. Whereas I want it to stand up a little bit, I want it to be prominent. So I'm going to carry on and I'm going to fill up this whole section with this machine embroidery with a straight stitch. And there you have machine stitching in straight stitch on top of corrugated cardboard. Mm -hmm. 